Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Debitez, and I'm the principal of David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy. David Thibodeau provides a positive learning atmosphere where students can gain a clear understanding of the variety of fields in biomedical science, engineering, and technology. While exploring each of these fields, students are exposed to an advanced curriculum that empowers them to find solutions for real-world problems and prepares them for post-high school experiences in college, the military, or the workforce. Our challenging learning atmosphere is coupled with a phenomenal group of staff members who relate the learning to real-life experiences and families who respect and support student learning. As you preview our video today, you should consider the following questions. Do you value the importance of a quality education? Are you interested in learning more about STEM-related jobs? And do you want a quality middle and high school experience that will make you competitive for job opportunities in the future? If your answer to these questions are yes, then STEM is the place for you to be. I hope you enjoy your remainder of this video as we explore each of the components of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics at David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy. I am Monica Guillory. I am Cale Broussard. And, and we, we are the, the assistant, assistant principals, principals at David Thibodeau, Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy. Academy. I am over the high school department. And I'm over the middle school department. And we are both super excited to share with you some of the great things we have going on in our 6th through 8th grade classes. And in our 9th through 12th grade classes. So let's move on to the stars of STEM. The teachers and the students. I'm going to research evidence that supports the shelter's volunteers. She claims that she believes that dogs have low oxygen levels on hot days when there's not a lot of airflow. This is true, it would make another great argument for the shelter to get a new ventilation system. That's great. We heard that there are a lot of mosquitoes in the kennels on humid days. So I want to see if dogs can develop mosquito delivered illnesses like a virus or worms. So like people who donated money to the shelter may want to know what is a better use of their funds paying for added ventilation or paying for medications to treat illnesses that might come from poor ventilation. Okay, the city said they'd pay more up front if they didn't have to pay as much monthly. I think that we should invest in solar powered fans because it provide just enough air for the, our ventilation systems. Good thinking, but the last project we did, we realized how expensive the batteries will be for the budget and we don't know if we can afford it. So we might be only able to do it in the day and not at night. So we would just have to make do with what we have. All right, now that I have these pictures from the Animal Society, I can finally finish the website promoting the fundraiser to improve the, the ventilation system for the animal shelter. I'm also using Java to write some scripts we need for the buttons to work and for the video player. The data charts from the temperature collection app we made to record temperature and humidity levels in the shelter um, are up and running and we'll make these live on site. And while you are working on that, I'm be creating a 3D model of the two proposed ventilation systems given to us by the engineering students. I'm going to be using what we learned in some of our other classes to help us solve this one problem about letting people really see what this idea is about. At David Thibodeau, STEM is our middle name. We try to focus our learning on real world situations, whether they be preparing us for life after school or developing solutions to problems in our community and in our world. We also try to bring together the different focus pathways to create solutions to allow students to use their specific talents to solve a problem together. Our pathways are technology, biomedical, and engineering. Let's take a look at the scenario mentioned earlier in which it has been discovered that at one animal shelter there is not enough proper ventilation for the stacked dog kennels to keep the dogs free of disease. Tight funding is the project's number one constraint, which is a way of saying that there are some real life limitations on this project. The city would be willing to either put up a large sum of money up front if they did not need much money in the future, or they would pay a small amount of money each month over a long period of time. After being given all of the constraints and instructions for the projects, Students focusing on different pathways begin their individual tasks. Later, they will come together to work out more details. I am John Train, a student at David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy. Going to David Thibodeau, it has prepared me for things that I did not expect that it would prepare me for. I'm expecting to become a biomedical engineer. Last year, in Principles of Engineering, I did this thing where we had to make a surgical robot arm and program it to pick up 
certain things by the, pu by the push of the button and the color that are read off of our hands. With all the stuff I have learned at David Thibodeau, I am definitely prepared for my future as a biomedical engineer. PLTW engineering students become tomorrow's problem solvers today. From launching space explorations to integrating virtual reality learning experiences to cleaning up our neighborhoods and communities, DTSMA engineering students find solutions to pressing problems and turn their ideas into reality. DTSMA Engineering empowers students to step into the role of an engineer, adopt a problem-solving mindset, and make the leap from dreamers to doers. The Project Lead the Ways program courses engage students in compelling, real-world challenges that help them become better collaborators and thinkers. Students take from the courses an in-demand knowledge and engineering skills that they will use in high school and for the rest of their lives on any STEM career path they take. At DTSMA, our students build a strong foundation for college and career pathways. Each PLCW engineering course engages students in interdisciplinary activities like working with a client to design a home, programming electronic devices or robotic arms, integrating robots to automate everyday tasks, or exploring subsea remote operated vehicles. These activities not only build knowledge and skills in engineering, but also empower students to develop essential skills such as problem solving, critical and creative thinking, communication, collaboration, and perseverance needed to be confident and successful in their career in the engineering at college level. Our Project Lead the Way engineering courses help prepare all students for the global workforce. The College Board and Project Lead the Way have partnered on a program to encourage students' participation in STEM courses and build their interests in STEM degrees and careers. The program leverages the success of the College Board's Advanced Placement Program and Project Lead the Way's Applied Learning Programs. Our program has three elements. College and Career Pathways that connect AP and PLTW courses, recognition for students who participate in the pathways and recognition for schools, and a portfolio of career-focused opportunities for students. The DTSMA Engineering Department, College Board, and Project Lead the Way are developing a portfolio of career-focused opportunities that will allow students to pursue work-based learning with leading industry partners. Opportunities include work with DTSMA premier projects, industry-based internships, scholarships for two- or four-year degree completion, or priority college interviews for students with the credential. The technology pathway at David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy empowers students to become creators of the very technology they use daily. Nearly every aspect of their lives is driven by technology. The pathway begins with both digital media and computer science courses with students specializing in one path during their junior and senior years. The Project Lead the Way computer science courses are part of the AP and PLTW computer science pathway. The Essentials course serves as an introduction to computer science where students begin with block-based programming and transition to text-based programming. Students will tackle major topics, big ideas, and computational thinking practices while preparing them to advance to the next level. The Computer Science Principles course utilizes Python as the primary tool as students tackle challenges like app development and simulation. In computer science, students increase understanding of coding through analyzing, writing, and testing code as they explore concepts like modularity, variables, and control structures. This course is endorsed by the College Board, giving students the opportunity to take the AP Computer Science Principles exam for college credit. Specializing in digital media at David Thibodeau involves building and expanding on the STEM mindset students established in middle school. Classes take a project-based approach using different Adobe programs to unleash creativity, foster critical thinking, and adapt to ever-changing technology. Starting out with little to no experience using any of these programs, students learn how to create and edit images, videos, and graphics. Digital media will have you looking at the world through new eyes. Skills students learn here will not only be applicable to success in the modern workplace, but in life. The learning process is fun and collaborative. Students build a portfolio with an assortment of original work that they can be proud of. Digital Media 1, 2, and 3 offered the opportunity to take the Adobe Certified Associates exam for industry certification. The DTSMA Technology Pathway prepares students for success in the next phase of their life journey. Let's explore the Biomedical Pathway. All courses in the Project Lead the Way Biomedical Science Program RAP, Advanced Placement, which means although they are a little hard, you can get college credit for certain colleges by passing the EOC. Project Lead the Way empowers students to build knowledge and skills in biomedical science as well as in-demand, transportable skills like problem solving, critical and creative thinking, communication, and collaboration. In this pathway, students learn how to take on real-world challenges, and they're doing it before they even graduate from high school. 
Working with the same tools used by professionals in hospitals and labs, students engage in compelling student-led research and working together to find solutions to problems. Students leave the course with the knowledge and skill that will lead to success in college. Our students are able to step into the role of biomedical science professionals and investigate topics including human medicine, physiology, genetics, microbiology, and public health. Students work together in teams to find unique solutions and in the process learn in-demand transferable skills like critical thinking and communication. In Principles of Biomedical Science, students explore concepts of biology and medicine as they take on roles of different medical professionals to solve real-world problems. Over the course of the year, students are challenged in various scenarios including investigating a crime scene to solve a mystery, diagnosing and proposing treatments to patients in a medical family practice, tracking down and containing a medical outbreak at a local hospital, stabilizing a patient during an emergency, and collaborating with others to design solutions to local and global medical problems. Human Body Systems is a research-based course. In HBS, you will examine the interactions of human body systems as you explore identity, power, movement, protection, and homeostasis in the body. You will build organs and tissues using a skeletal mannequin and an interactive 3D human model. Exploring science in action, you'll also use data acquisition software to monitor body functions such as muscle movement, reflex, and voluntary actions and respirations. You'll take on the roles of biomedical professionals to solve real-world medical cases. Through hands-on dissection of preserved animals, you can develop the skills that you'll need to diagnose and treat human and animal afflictions. Medical Interventions is also a research-based course where students learn to perfect their research skills preparing them for college. Students follow the life of a fictitious family as they investigate how to prevent, diagnose, and treat disease. Students explore how to detect and fight infection, screen and evaluate the code in human DNA, evaluate cancer treatment options, and prevail when the organs of the body begin to fail. Through real-world cases, students are exposed to a range of interventions related to immunology, surgery, genetics, pharmacology, medical devices, and diagnostics. The Emergency Medical Responder course is designed to provide participants with the basic knowledge and skills to manage many medical and trauma-related emergencies. This course will evaluate a student's proficiency in the skills and knowledge needed to respond to an emergency call, assist those who need immediate medical attention, and perform basic life-saving procedures. Within this course, students will also complete a CPR, first aid, and AED course. Upon successful completion, students are eligible for national certification as an emergency medical responder. Hi, my name is Allison Cantor. I am the instructional leader here at David Thibodeau, and you've had a wonderful opportunity to see all the great things that we already have in place for you here at David Thibodeau. But as you can see in the background, we are continuing to grow. We have our softball and baseball fields and also our soccer fields that are gonna be added to us. And not only are we gonna to add to our sports and our extracurricular, but our academics are gonna score even higher as we move on to our pathways with bigger and better options for our students. So you've seen where we are and where we are going. We would love for you to consider joining our Bulldog family.